Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have an unboxing right here. Um, I'm going to put it right down over here because it's very awkward and very, it's very light, but it's very awkward. Um, but this is going to be a pickups video from what I got at Spirit of Halloween this year. Um, I say this year because it doesn't really happen uh, that often. This is stuff that I ordered in the mail, but I also do have some stuff that um, I already I went to the store and bought uh, except for one thing which is a magnet that's like a ribbon that says support Halloween I didn't bring that up that's on my fridge so that's down there also it's very windy out there so I really apologize if that you know you hear that you might not but it is the first day of fall you know so happy first day of fall we made it it's soon gonna be Halloween which will be sad when it goes away but every day is Halloween right right so I'm going to show you what I bought from Spirit. Um, the first thing here is uh, I got this Nightmare on Elm Street Adult Deluxe Freddy Krueger Latex Mask. And I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. There's one there that was like a part four, but it was like Trick or Treat Studios, which, is, you know, of course, is amazing. But it was like 70 bucks. I'm like, I don't feel like spending that much there. So you got this one. And I'll show you what it looks like with me wearing it. It's very tight, but... It's good in a way because then it's not going to move on me. So here, I'll show you what I look like in it. And here you go. This is what I have. The bad thing is the mouth is like that. You know, the other one, I think when you put it on, you could move the mouth with yours. But this is still very cool. I like this a lot. Um, you know, I have my beanie that I used to wear. That I'm sorry if you can't understand me. Uh, I have a beanie that I used to wear that's like a Nightmare on Elm Street one. So, you know, I have kind of a plan with this character, but I don't know if I'm going to go through with it. So, if I do, you'll see him again on the channel. That was extremely hard to get off. That's what she said. Uh, and speaking of getting off, I can't even get this one on. This is a mask from, you know, it's Deluxe Sam Mask from Trick or Treat Spirit uh, brand. Very, very cool. Good quality and everything. Um, and inside is like like rubber you know but this I didn't try before I left the store this does not fit at all <laughs> it doesn't fit at all um, it doesn't even fit Giovanni and he's seven years old so I would say if you want to go as Sam this year make your own <laughs> or find one without the rubber inside like just make a burlap sack kind of thing because this is very cool, and I think it would look cool, like, on a shelf or something. But, you know, I want to wear it, too. I was thinking about uh, having them while, I play it with, while I'm playing. And, you know, now that I look at it, it, okay, it's right here. You can't see it, but right here where my fingers are, that's where you see out of it. Because I was looking, I'm like, how the hell do you see out of this thing? Because I can't get my head in, so I had no idea. So, yeah, that's, that's where you, like, right there in the mask. This is cool, though. This is a very, very cool mask. You know, my other son, Lorenzo, is terrified of all these. All of them. And Giovanni just laughs. Gio has never been afraid of any of this shit. Lorenzo, day one, he's afraid. So he's got to start growing a pair before he, you know, I get to take him to a convention or anything. But uh, this one, I, I love this. And if you, if you know me, I'm a big Dead by Daylight fan. And... I went in and I got this one. This is the Viper face. It even says Dead by Daylight. It's official Dead by Daylight merchandise. Um, but this is very cool. I put it on real quick. Uh, I'll put it on again now. Why the hell not? There you go. Inside here, there's actually like a strap to put over your head. Like a, it's loose, but like it's this stays pretty well. Uh, again, your vision's blurry a little bit, but. Uh, Feel bad for people who have to wear glasses while you're wearing a mask, especially if you can't see without your glasses, you're just going to be blind. But uh, this is cool, you know. I pretty much am just going to have them in between the tapes or the, the Blu-rays or something. Um, but, like, this is really cool. Uh, I also have, because this is a different rendition of Ghostface, if you didn't know. If you didn't know. Um, there is one that I'm looking for, and if somebody were to send me this, I'll love you forever. But it's a ghost face 
and it's red and it has devil horns and I can't find it at the store I couldn't even find it online uh, and that's a Dead by Daylight mask as well so I want to get all the ones that are like that so I have a ghost face and I have the Viper one which I think also this used to be um, back in the day like this was like a vintage mask and they kind of like made it a little different now because uh, I was looking this up and, and I was like oh wait that's the same thing that they have but this is scarier and uh, this is a cool outfit too that you can unlock and everything or that you can buy but it's very cool I love this mask I love the ghost face mask I have the original I have the scream show mask and everything uh, I think the scream mask I have is from part three I believe it was part three um, but anyway uh, Ghostface is just I love Ghostface um, and I've been I, honestly I don't know why I bought all this stuff I just saw it I'm like I gotta get that so now I'll show you what's in the box this is stuff that just came today I didn't even open the box yet so they could be broken let's just hope they're not okay I lied <laughs> this is actually the first thing I bought from Spirit this year uh, this is like the main thing I went there to get um, and they only had this one at the time but I got Killer Clown Mask. I can't remember his name. Jumbo? <laughs> I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is like a hard plastic. And you got these. There was like three other ones there at the time. But like they were all missing the top here. The hair here. So I found one with the hair. Um, and I was like, I have to get these. When I saw they were having them this year, I had to get them. But I'll show you what I look like in this now. Don't you love how my beard still comes down? <laughs> I look like... Uh, Captain Spaulding or something I don't know but yeah you, get, you see right here under the eyes it's very creepy hey but yeah I, I like it I like it a lot there's a big big strap on the back to keep this on it's and if for you know I guess if you don't move around too much it stays but I could see like people like this flying around and everything so this is, you know, these are more for display, you know, just to, like, look awesome. Um, the only other Killer Clowns thing I have uh, is my um, Cotton Candy Cocoon, which is a pain in the ass, I'll be honest. It's too big to put anywhere. Um, it's in the way no matter where I put it. So, you know, now I'm going to go into the box here and, and show everybody what I got. They didn't even... Um, send any tracking or anything I didn't even know this was coming today I thought for a while that um, they forgot about it and well it showed up I like how they even have their own sticker or their own tape you know what does it say so much fun it's scary pretty cool it's always fun to go into spirit and see like the display stuff like I never buy like I never really buy anything until after Halloween there because it's so pricey but some things are like you know decently priced like masks stuff like that look at this oh yeah definitely very very well packed so it should be out everything should be fine oh my god there's a lot in here uh, and let's just hope that nothing's broken okay so far so good um, I know I think they had these last year but I didn't get them but this is a skeleton mask from trick-or-treat um, those kids on the bus uh, this is very cool um, I saw them in the store but I didn't buy them at the time and then I was like I'll just buy I had to buy something else online so I was like I just threw everything in a cart you got free shipping if you I think if you pay over thirty dollars get free shipping so it's not hard to spend thirty dollars there so let's see what I look like in this now I like <laughs> again I like how the beard comes out of the bottom it kind of like looks like it's part of the mask in a way it's funny um, but yeah it stays pretty well to be honest uh, it's like what do they call these like a half mask or whatever pretty cool I, I obviously want it because of the trick-or-treat movie those kids on that bus even when they're alive in the movie they look creepy as hell and you know um, it's very pretty I, I, it's very cool I like this one but so they got that one and now moving on this one is probably one of the creepier ones uh, this is the clown mask from <laughs> from uh, trick-or-treat and uh, 
Oh god, I hope that's not a hair. What is that? Ew, it's a hair! <laughs> Ew! I hope this isn't lipstick too. No, it's not. Oh my god. Blech. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so let's see what I look like with this on now. Again, <laughs> the beard, man, the beard. But I think she had, like, the pigtails in it, man. She was pretty scary looking. Um, because like, back in the, the, those days, though, like, the costumes were scary. If you Google that shit, like, all the costumes look really scary. Um, like eerie it's kind of crazy maybe that wasn't actually hair from somebody I think it might have been hair from something in here but that's what I'm gonna say but that's pretty cool look at hard plastic held up I think these are like what are they like oh they're $12.99 a piece so if you can snag these after Halloween they'll probably be like half off you know I I, I'll, I never get there in time everything is like you know bought or whatever so I I do plan on going and checking out stuff, but like, I'm just gonna get masks and like makeup and stuff because I would like to make a, a, up a clown on this channel. Um, so if anybody has any clown ideas, let me know. I think that would be fun, you know, to have a, a, a character on the on the channel here, you know, and what kind of um, name, what name it would be, or stuff like that, you know. But moving on, here's the bunny mask looks like quick right it has to be quick what else could it be you know but this is also from trick-or-treat and then put this on and there you go I don't know uh, I don't remember what quick says what the quick bunny says but you got like like these like pads in here that like push against your face they're pretty thick pads. They're, uh, they're about this thick, like this thick in there. And there's one down here as well. Um, I honestly don't know what I would wear these with. You know, they're kind of they're neat. They're, I just love them because they're from the movie. But I, I like if I was going to find a costume, I wouldn't buy this. I wouldn't get this. Be like, oh, that's cool. You know. Like it goes the quick bunny, but like I think that one's like the least scariest. But I, I, it's kind of a cool design in a way, though. It's like flat. It almost looks like it should be like a, a ukulele or something. Like you could have the neck there and play it. That would be cool. Somebody turn this into a ukulele. <laughs> Maybe somebody will. But uh, moving on to this one now. Um, I think this one's gonna be very small on me. Um, but it says vampire kid mask. Uh, this is kind of a half mask. Um, and put this on. Oh, hello, hi. What's your name? You know, the kid Alley. He was pretty creepy in the movie too. Like all the kids were, and you feel bad for them because you know they weren't. They uh, had problems and stuff. Um, but it's a cool sequence in the movie. You know, very cool story. But here, yeah, pretty neat. I look like I want to go. Duh, you know. Do <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat though. You know, again, these will look cool on the wall. You know, or um, like I was, I was taking this thing and sticking it in between here, like like underneath the the t uh, Blu-rays, and having the masks hang around. I might do that. That'd be cool in the background, I think. But that's all of the trick or treat masks. But I have other masks here, and uh, because I couldn't, I could not, I couldn't, I had to get them all. I had to get them all. So here's Spiky. You got Spiky, which is a creepy fucking guy, man. Like, look at that that smile. Did you just hear him go? <laughs> like, that's crazy. Oh man. This might be my favorite one. Look at how creepy I am. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Oh, I love that. You can't, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's got like the grooves and everything. It's so, it's pretty detailed to be honest. Again, hard plastic, you got the hair. These should be more individually spiked, but I gotta, you know, fool around with it and and, and do it and this has this on the back the other one just has like one like this part 
but this has one coming down. Um, Spirit also had a pretty cool Jason mask, but it was like too pricey for what it was. It was like $20, and I'm like, nah, you know. But, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> here we go, here we go. We got Shorty. Oh, man, these are, these are great. I, I see, now, how could you not want them? Uh-oh, but I see a problem here. Look at, this is coming up. I'm going to have to hot glue that down. See, that sucks. This is, uh, this is live. This is not live, but like this is proof that something happened. Um, it, it became unglued. So I'm, and I, I could see why it, uh, this wire that you untie got caught underneath. So it sucks, but I'll just, I'll just glue it down, you know, super glue it down and it'll be fine. Uh, again, disappointing. And I'm not going to send it back just for that. Maybe I'll take it to the store. I don't know. But, you know. Want to fight? Want to fight? What are you going to do? Knock my block off? Great. What a great character. They're so likable, but like they'll, they'll kill you. And they'll suck your juices. <laughs> very, very cool, though. Uh, yeah, so Shorty, Spiky. I don't remember the other guy's name. Jumbo. I want to say Jumbo. I might be wrong. But, uh... Again, pretty detailed. You can see the bumps and the and everything. And look at his teeth. His teeth look like mine. <laughs> uh, very cool. I, I love these. I, I'm so glad I got them. And I saw they were having them. I was like, I have to get them. Uh, I didn't get everything from uh, Kill the Clowns there this year, but I thought about it. I thought about it. But uh, now this one here is is the last one. It's the Trick or Treat Lollipop. Now, I got this, it's only 10 bucks to be honest, because every time Anthony Rapino, Candy Corn Apocalypse, makes these damn things, which he hasn't done in a long time, they're sold out like that. I can't even like go online to get them because they're gone. So I thought, I'm going to get this, and you know, this will be getting opened and everything. I think, I think it looks really cool. Um, there's nothing to it, lollipop. 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 But pretty cool. I'll open it now. Let's let's open it now and check it out. I'm getting it, but like it's like ripping everywhere but where it's gonna come out. So and I'm so afraid to break this thing. Uh, we're gonna get it though, it's almost ready. Alright, I got it out. Um You definitely have to be careful with this. I can hear like a like a looseness. It's not like loose loose, but like it's I think if you dropped it, like I'm so afraid with this thing, like I'm going to break it. Right here there's a little plastic thing on the top, I guess where the mold came. Uh, I think they could have did a little bit like that, clipped it down a little more. Um, on the back here is some writing, I don't, I don't like that. I think if anything they could have like did it underneath here or something, or, or, or I don't know, I, I don't think it's necessary. I hate that everything is copyright. It's like we know it is, you know. It, it we're buying it. It's obviously copywritten, but you know people got to cover their ass. Um, but yeah, this is cool. You know he's yeah. So yeah, it's it's not as good as Anthony Rapino's, you know, but it's a good substitute. Ten bucks. It's not bad. Very very neat. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, that that's the haul. That's everything. So I guess we could I could show you every everything I got again real quick. We got Sam's lollipop here, pretty cool. We got Shorty, it's a melody in my head, in my head. Oh, the na na every day, it's a na na. Oh, that's Shorty there that I gotta fix. Um, which I'll just put him right over here, so I remember to do that. And we got Spike. Is it Spiky? Spiky mask. <laughs> we got the vampire kid mask pretty cool again if you are you who's a fan of, the, of trick or treat uh i think it's a really good movie i like it's a good anthology movie uh i don't know if there's supposed to be a, a sequel or not i don't know but uh some of the one of the probably one of my favorite werewolf transformations is in this movie it's disgusting and it looks fucking painful and it's very cool. 
like it's uh, like it's very underrated I think for the for a werewolf transformation you got the bunny mask here which is my least favorite of the masks because it just looks like quick bunny you know the quick quick drink rabbit the clown mask the girl was wearing which I think is creepy as fuck you know like it looks like she could be part of the Joker's gang like no I kill the bus driver bus driver what bus driver and you know like that <laughs> uh, you know I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you stranger you know it's kind of like she could be in the Joker's gang uh, or anybody could this is cool this kind of looks like it you would wear this to rob a bank you know like or paintball or something that's a skeleton mask pretty neat I like it you know uh, and then a previous buy the first thing I got there was this jumbo I'm going with jumbo I know I could just look it up but I'm not gonna I want to I want to know if I'm right but uh, this is cool too you could see the details in that he's a uh, awesome I hope they come out with more of them from the from the movie uh, I don't have any action figures or anything from them. I want to get the Funkos and I, I don't have them so one day I'll get those as well we have the Viper face from Dead by Daylight here I love this thing too um, great quality in these I, th I think they're good quality I mean I don't I'm not an expert but it doesn't look bad it's it's feels good you know <laughs> uh, so you got the Viper face here we got a uh, deluxe adult deluxe Freddy Krueger latex mask uh, again the only downfall is the mouth is like that it's cool looking but I would I wish I could have gotten the one where your mouth is there and it moves with it you know so but that was pricey this was what fucking 25 bucks as compared to like 70 and I still think this looks good good it, it, it's it's tight but it's like a good tight um, it's uh, not going anywhere it's not you know it, it's really good and again I have a character I kind of want to make with Freddy uh, or I want to make a clown and probably one of the coolest masks from this whole thing that I can't wear is Sam it's the burlap and again can't wear it because of the rubber inside it's too fucking small unless I somehow cut it but I don't want to ruin it so if anybody could tell me a way to like how can I make this fit because if I can like like I said cut it open or something it would fit but if not I'm just going to take it back and see if I can maybe there is just a burlap on there but I think it would be cool to make my own too I don't know you know that won't ever happen I, I, I would I say that but it won't happen but yeah uh, this is really cool this one um, deluxe Sam mask Again, Spirit has a lot of good stuff. Uh, it's just pricey, and I never buy anything. But this year, I thought I'm gonna treat myself, you know, uh, and, and it'll be fun. I'm kind of getting into collecting masks now. Uh, I've slowly been doing that through the years, but I don't have anything extravagant. But what I have, I like, and that's that's good for me. Um, so, which one of these is your favorite? You know, I I gotta say. I think of uh, mine spiky. I think that's my favorite one, just because he's so creepy looking and awesome. But uh, yeah, spiky is definitely my favorite one, and uh, I'm so glad I got the killer clown ones in. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate that that um, Shorty's hair was a little weird there, but we'll fix it. It's an easy fix. And if Spirit sees this, maybe they'll want to send me a new one. I don't know. But uh, as I don't want to bat box it up and send it back and make it a big deal, I you know. Because it's not. Nothing's broken. Nothing's cracked. I'm surprised. The only thing that I wish they would have did is send me tracking so I could be ready for a giant package in front of my house where anybody could steal it. But anyway, yeah, this was uh, this was fun. I'm glad I got to open this for everybody. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Um, so now I'm going to start putting these around the room. And, you know, you'll see them in the background here and there while I'm live or making videos. Maybe I'll switch it out for everybody. Um, and hopefully... The, the hopefully it doesn't scare anybody too much with the clowns um, because Killer Clowns from Outer Space is one of my favorite you know horror movies it's so much fun such a good time 
great soundtrack you know it's just a great great movie and it's really awesome if you get a chance watch it at the drive-in the it's the best experience you'll ever have with it um, but yeah that's it everybody thanks for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video and check out my latest reviews you know you can go and check them out um, also please um, hit like I said hit the subscribe button share this video around and uh, you know spread the word of Mr. Tony of the Dead and uh, if you bought anything from Spirit this year or you know any kind of like Halloween stuff let me know and uh, I'll go check out your video and uh, I'll let you know what I think but uh, yeah that's everybody thanks for watching and I'll talk to everybody later happy first day of fall and if I don't talk to you have a good October and happy Halloween whenever October comes around <laughs>